Hey, it's Jay Nash from Morris with Michael and Jay Nash. We everywhere. Michael and Jay Nash. Hey, hey. Michael and Jay Nash. We got your birthdays and shout yeah, out. Murder's birthdays. Goodness. Be sure to follow us on all your social media platforms at Michael and Jay Nash. And of course, we're on Spotify, Apple, Pandora, Google. We everywhere. Mornings with Michael and Jay Nash only on. Oh, there can be only one. Yo, it is Wednesday, November 4th, 2020. Y'all know what that means. It's the day after the election. We got a new president. Lies. <laughs> yeah, lies. All <laughs> lies. <laughs> hey, we got an awesome show for you today. Today's show is being brought to you by our friends over there at Credit Building Professionals. Gotta say shout out to my man, Credit Craig, and his crew over there. Hey, when I tell you that Credit Building Professionals, yeah. hey, they really work. That's good. I'm a client. And they and your score has gone up. Hey. I'm in the I'm in the three digits now. <laughs> Hold up, <though. laughs> there's nothing but three digits. You may have been two forty four. <laughs> but shout out to our friends over there, at Credit Building Professionals. What up, Credit hey, Craig? Credit. I, I tried to come with you. Yeah, thank you very much. You That's welcome. what she said. Ooh. Oh. <laughs> hey. <laughs> <laughs> grow up, Jay. You Stop being so up. immature. You are so you are so man. <laughs> people that start show, they don't think we're X X X rated. Hey, welcome back, Jay. Yesterday we had no <laughs> inkling. We didn't even talk about you yesterday. But you gotta tell people what happened. Latasha was worried, just FYI. Oh, I'm so glad that somebody was worried because you weren't. I uh, text you a couple times. <laughs> <laughs> Walter text you a couple of times. Hey, today's show is being brought to you by Credit Building Professionals. Don't forget to share, too, man. We appreciate that. And check out the website. No, don't check out the website yet. We're not ready yet. I mean, they can at least go to Power 108.9 and check out the website. For the things that we're doing, we're making progress. Yes, thank you very But you much. can head over to Spotify, TuneIn Radio, Apple. Oh, we on Pandora. Pandora. Yeah, we everywhere. Hey, y'all wonder why Jay wasn't here yesterday. Look at her. Got her damn hair done, nails yeah. done, all that stuff done. Hey, when we come back, man, we're going to talk about this election, 2020. This morning is with Michael and Jay Nash right here on Power 108.9. Wake up. Let's go. Of course I hate these people because maybe hate is what we need. These are people. These are animals. This ain't nothing new. Why are African Americans still dying at the What's up, family? I call you family because I feel like we can be honest with each other. Nowadays, we all got side hustles and businesses. And in the gig economy, we're all looking for ways to expand our clientele. Power up with 108.9's advertising partnership. Connect to over 100,000 viewers per month. If you're interested, contact our marketing director at thepower1089 at gmail.com. Help us reach your target audience and expand your brand. Power 108.9, the station for the people. Keep, keep, keep it locked. Power 108.9, the station for the people. Welcome back, mornings with Michael and Jay Nash right here on Power 108.9. Today is November 4th, 2020, the day after the election. But the crazy thing about it is we have no clue who our next president is going to be for the next four years. Not yet. The votes are still coming in. I'm going to give you a list of states that I'm never visiting, ever. <laughs> oh, never, ever, <laughs> ever. ever? Fuck y'all state. <laughs> I'm sorry. Did I just cut? That, you just cut. Sorry, I just dropped the F-bomb, didn't I? Straight. My Early bad. in the morning. Early in the morning. Hey, today is the 4th, right? I mentioned mm -hmm. that. Today is National Stress Awareness Day. It's on the first Wednesday oh. in November. It aims to identify and reduce the stress factors Morning. in your life. Everyone has stress. Some stress is good for us. It helps us respond to changes in life. Stress is our body's way of protecting itself from harm. However... Too much stress causes harm to our health and relationships. So, National Stress Tell Awareness me about Day. It. Good morning. Stress free. And Just speaking stress of stress, free. I was stressed last night. Uh, that's what I said yesterday. Did I stress you out too much that you just didn't come to work yesterday? <laughs> No, you didn't stress me out. Can I tell you, I mean, 
not tell you tell you exactly what <laughs> no, happened. No, we don't need to know the details. But what happened was I was tired. I was really tired. I had been, you know, doing a lot of different things. I was working on a lot of different projects. And um, I wanted to go to sleep early. And you turned me on to Advil <laughs> at night, p.m. <laughs> so this guy, my amazing co-host, Michael, said, Jay, you know what? If you have problems <laughs> and trouble sleeping at night, what I suggest I you do... <laughs> Michael, I suggest you take some Advil PM. So I did. I took some Advil PM at midnight. You know, it's usually, know, it takes a minute to kick in. Well, now I know it takes a minute to kick in. I did not make it to the show in the morning. I woke up at ten o'clock. In, I woke up at ten o'clock in the morning, and I said, "Self, <laughs> you missed the damn show." <laughs> Michael called me. I was slow. I, I was, you was actually, out of it. I was really out of it, Michael. Like, don't ever take any PM drugs. Like, LEPM. Sleep aids. <laughs> Opioids. <laughs> <laughs> don't take anything at night, especially at midnight. I missed the entire show, y'all. But And I felt horrible. I'm but sorry. He, but here's the thing, though. You show up to work the next day. Your freaking hair is done. Your nails is done. You got lashes on. Like you just, you got new merch over there. Like I don't. The story's not adding up for me. New merch. <laughs> the story's not adding up for me. But now we're glad you. We're glad you're okay. But yes, don't take new that. Merch. Don't take it too new late. Merch. Frames galore. Dot store. No, seriously. I I really didn't. You know I'm not just gonna intentionally miss a show. I, I love coming to our mornings with Michael and Jay Nash. I just. Overslept on the Advil PM. <laughs> so not only is it is it National Stress Awareness Day, today is National Candy Day. On November 4th, we celebrate this sweet holiday, National Candy Day. Candies have a long history of, of, of attracting us with their bright colors and delightful flavors. They also come in a ver- <laughs> what the damn. What the hell is you doing? I was showing them candy, <laughs> but damn. <laughs> in the late 13th century, Middle English first began using the word candy they borrowed it from the old french karoo candy did okay. i say that right i know i'm just reading the candy history just but anyway turbo. so anyway happy national candy day and, and i'm glad you brought the candy in because yesterday we were talking about how long does halloween candy last and we wanted to get your input on it how long do i mean what, what did you guys think you can't eat you can't eat a ashy snicker the white the white With snicker the white pe- yeah. yeah you can't do that yeah okay okay whoppers you can't do to do that either oh yeah whoppers <laughs> <laughs> see it's not me it's not me that it's do that you guys. <laughs> it's not me i'm the only female with estrogen on the show and you guys are just full of crap um I don't think you can you can keep candy longer than six months. Okay, that's fair. How long did you think? I, I think to infinity. I, I think you just gotta taste it. Like it. you cannot keep candy. You infinity. just gonna throw it away? Hell, man! It may be worms coming out of that candy. Oh my gosh! Who ever, you have sick. you ever seen a worm in candy? Yeah. When? Oh, that's Never. right. You're from Mississippi. I am from. Uh, I am from Indianapolis by way of. Piney Woods, Mississippi, not Chuck- Chuckaloosa. There's no such thing as Chuckaloosa, Mississippi. Oh, it's not? No, they made that up for the show. You need? Did you watch what P Valley? What show? It's oh, P Valley. Oh, okay. Can you watch it because season two is getting ready to come out? Uh, what's it on Netflix? Uh, No, Stars. Oh, I don't have cable. I don't have well, that kind of cable. You can get the app. You can get, like, you got Amazon app, Hulu app. I, I pay too I got. I, pay, it's, it's, I got too many apps. It's just $5.99. Just five ninety nine on top of the other five ninety nines that I pay T- for everything you know, else. They, they're getting paid big time. Big time. How about you just give me your login? Okay. <laughs> you probably use somebody <laughs> else's. <laughs> you use somebody else's login. No, your business. Not your business. <laughs> Not hey, your business. Yesterday, President Forty Five came out and spoke to the American people mm-hmm. about two o'clock yesterday and said that, "Hey, this is a fraud." On the American public. This is an embarrassment to our country. We were getting ready to win this election. Frankly, we did win this election. Wow. Who gave him? Who who told him he won? 
President 45 made a speech from the East Room of the White House about 2.30 this morning where he declared victory and called the election a fraud on the American people. He also says that he could be possibly taking this thing to the United States Supreme Court where he just put three folks inside of the Supreme Court. But the Supreme Court cannot, and I repeat, they cannot stop states from counting the votes. Really? No. So what is he going to do? So what is the, I mean, the whole thing about the Supreme Court? He's just a big bully. You know, he's a sore loser. For him to just even, like, hey, we are going to, we're, we're going to, this is fraud. No one says that when he say half the stuff that he say right. and get away with it. He is a sore loser. Trust me, he is a sore loser. I was listening to a show the other day. I like to listen to right-wing shows. Do you, okay. Do you listen to the right-wing shows? Uh, I just listen to Netflix is a joke radio. Is that what you call it? Because it is really like these people are so biased. Um, but, you know, they were talking about all the different things that he is and have done for black people. And which is true. He did, you know, have the criminal reform bill. He mm -hmm. did. He did. But uh, President, our forever president, Barack Obama, tried to as well. However, we didn't have the Senate. Right. He couldn't get a lot of things passed through to Congress. He couldn't get a lot of things passed through. Whereas because uh, the Republicans hold the Senate, he's able to do a whole lot of things that uh, for, forever President Barack Obama wasn't able to do. He was here yesterday. No, that was Monday. Damn. You remember, you was, you was gone Monday. You was gone Tuesday. <laughs> just, era just erase Tuesday, <laughs> November 3rd off of your checklist. Okay, like, okay, yeah, that yeah. day never happened for okay, you. So, so he wasn't here yesterday. <laughs> no, he was not. Dog, I'm, my days are, what's today? Today is Wednesday. Okay, today is Wednesday. So I slept all Tuesday. <laughs> Today's show is being brought to you by <laughs> our friends over at Credit Building Professionals. Oh, Shout out to my guy. Which one? Credit Craig. Shout Check out, out the Credit website. Craig. Credit Craig. Credit Craig. Hey, okay. when we come back, I'm going to tell you some states that I'm not visiting Can we have ever a calendar? in my life. Also, we're going to talk about... Um, Let's talk about these local elections, too, because some big races went yeah. down yesterday here in the state of Georgia. Hey, good morning to uh, my man, Daryl Fletcher. What up, Gary? Gary says, good morning, family. Big ups, Michael Angelo McFadden. It's not Angelo. It's actually Alexander. They cannot why get my middle keep, name right. Why did he keep doing you like that? I don't know. Shout out to you. He said, hey, uh, Jay. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, today is Wednesday. Gar Gary manifested this, this, this partnership here. Did he? Yeah, he did. Well, Gary, please don't fire me. T yesterday was a mistake. Also, uh, Fidella just gave me an update. She said they are rejecting mail-in ballots for Georgia. People need to check their status and get it corrected. What? what? Did you hear that? Um, actually, Damn. there's a lot going on in Georgia okay. right now. We're going to talk about that when we yeah. come back. It's mornings with Michael and Jay Nash right here on Power 108.9. Wake up, let go. on social media can i find you instagram at power 108.9 and facebook at power 108.9 it, it, it's it's the it's the exact same thing it's at power 108.9 oh. oh okay power 108.9 a station for the people what's up family i call you family because i feel like we can be honest with each other Nowadays, we all got side hustles and businesses. And in a gig economy, we're all looking for ways to expand our clientele. Power up with 108.9's advertising partnership. Connect to over 100,000 viewers per month. If you're interested, contact our marketing director at thepower1089 at gmail.com. Help us reach your target audience and expand your brand. Power 108.9. The station for the people. Yo, looking for a new house? Then it's time for you to holler at our guy, the mortgage guy, Alvin Jameson of Loan Depot. Yo, it's your boy Michael McFadden of Mornings with Michael and Friends. And I tell you what, Alvin, Jameson, and the crew, they really do it all. First-time home buyers, refinances, investment properties. 
VA home loans too. Hit them up. It's very simple. AlvinJameson.com. Y'all know Alvin like the chipmunk. Jameson like that fine whiskey. You can also hit them up by mobile phone. 404-587-9033. Once again, 404-587-9033. Alvin Jameson, Loan Depot. Tell them you heard it on Power 108.9. What up, Alvin? Tired of all that, and now Michael McFadden and Jay Nash, sixty second buzz starts now. Hey, good morning, good people. So guess what? Guess what? Guess what? So one of your favorite artists, at least he was mine before he jumped on a, a bandwagon for forty five, decided that uh, he wants to cuss out SNL. Guess who he is? <laughs> who? Guess these nuts. No, Ice Cube. Ah. <laughs> Ice Cube was really upset that uh, SNL had a whole skit about him on Saturday night that he felt the need that he wanted to say a whole lot of stuff about them. So he's upset, and it's possible that his bandwagon, Trump, did not win this election, and maybe just because of you. So what's going on in sports? Hey, yesterday the NFL trade deadline went down. We got your winners and losers doing the trade deadline at the 45. But I will let you know, former Atlanta Falcon and uh, Carter's resident Vic Beasley's been let go from the Titans. Wow, what? who who would have figured that? Also, uh, shout out to old Mookie Betts. He was awarded his fifth straight Golden Glove on yesterday. So shout out to them. And guess who is playing on Thursday Night Football this week? Who? I'll tell you when we uh, the when next we break. We yeah. still got a little bit more time. Dang. See, I was on it. All right, I had it. it. You had, I it. had it. You had it. Sixty seconds in the buzz. Of course, giving you the latest in entertainment and sports news. Shout out to Michael for hitting that buzzer. Hey, welcome back. Today is the day after the election, November fourth. Did you know that it was on this day too, back in nineteen fifty-two, that the in the United States of America, the NSA was established. Nineteen fifty-two. Okay. That's the National Security Agency, okay. right? You know that, right? Now I do. They're the ones that they spy on you. I thought that was the, the Facebook, other people. AKA Facebook. That's what <laughs> 1952 Facebook and the LPI. was created back in the day. And also, too, it was on this day back in 1924 that Nellie T. Ross of Wyoming was elected America's first woman governor. That's good to know. Yeah, she uh, she served out the rest of her term uh, for her late husband William B. Ross. So in case she didn't for know her, that. so so she took his position. Yeah, she took his seat. Yep. Really? Well, she won. She didn't. Well, take she it. went. Yeah, she won. So did she have any experience? I'm have to look her up. Nah, uh, uh-uh. she, she just she, she just, just winged it. <laughs> I think a lot of people are going to just wing it. Like for the next four years, I think we're going to have a lot of African Americans and a lot of Latinos who are going to run for office. So let's look at this uh, this Georgia these Georgia races. Yeah. Let me break that down. So, you know, uh, Georgia has two runoff election dates. Okay. Okay. After the general election. Yep. Um, they're Kelly Loeffler and, uh, oh boy, Raphael, right? Right. Oh, Kelly. I do not like Kelly. Nah. Nobody really likes her. Shout out to Lucy McBath. She won. I love Lucy. Congratulations to Lucy. Yep. You know that's a TV show, right? Lucy I love McBath? Lucy. I, I know I love Lucy, but not Lucy McBath. Okay. Uh, okay. <laughs> well, who else do you got? <laughs> uh, Natalie Hall. His shout name out is Raphael, uh, Raphael Warnock. You got to call him Reverend. Uh, Reverend Warnock. Yeah, you got to call him. I wonder, I, w- I wonder if he wins if you still got to call him Reverend. I don't know, but um, is is the... Okay, never mind. When, who you don't want is the uh, homegirl. Who that? Lawford. Shout out to uh, Natalie Hall. That's Kwanzaa's uh, wife. Kwanzaa won her seat. Uh, shout out to her. She did an awesome job. Like her numbers were crazy. I like love she her crushed too. them. She's so. been doing this for a long time. So shout out to them. Victor Hill, he won. Yep. Shout out to Victor. <laughs> Hell nah. Ain't nobody running against Victor Hill. <laughs> Jay Nash, what are you doing over there? Oh, I mean, Get if, situated, if, please. If, if, if we were just recorded like <laughs> we do our still, podcast still on still We can't hear you. Nobody, we can't hear you. Nobody will ever know what I'm doing besides the fact that you want to record us. So this is what I'm doing because I have only... We can't hear you. <laughs> you see how she looked at me? <laughs> <laughs> she is she is easily distracted, ladies and gentlemen. And your computer not working. So check this out. Over the next couple of weeks, some states that I'm not visiting. Any state that's red. Any state? No, I'm not going over there. Not one? Because one thing I heard this morning on GMA, uh-huh. and it came from Chris Christie, okay. is that the polling was horrible. Yeah. 
Well, apparently in Georgia, too. <laughs> when you look at the polls, like when you see all of these, and we talked about this prior to all the shows. Yeah. Don't trust the polls. When you see these people saying, well, it looks like, it looks like Joe has a 10-point lead and blah, blah, blah. No, it does not. No. And one thing that they noticed last night is that 45 got his people out to vote. He did. To make these races closer than they would have, should have been. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. He did his job. He did, he did what he was supposed to do. I mean, he did it at the last minute, but a lot of those people, you know, they were already side with this man. That's just that's how you know, like we talked about earlier this morning, that's how you know there's a divide in this country. Facts. There is a divide in this country, and if you don't know, you know now that there is a divide. So many people showed up for Trump, and it's really sad. The numbers are coming in right now, um, and of course, it's going to probably take a few days. Um, but of course, uh, the Dem the Democrats, they we, we, we got the office, I mean the House. So when you look at some, the election will come down to key swing states. Yep, Georgia's won. And Georgia's won. Georgia is playing a role. You also got to look at Pennsylvania, yep. Michigan, and Wisconsin. Trump has won the biggest battleground prize of all, which is Florida, Ohio, no. and Texas. Ohio? Those are three states I'm never going back to, ever. First of all, I've never been to Texas before. Well, I thought he was going to, I thought we were going to flip Ohio. Mm -mm, didn't do it. Dang. He did not do it. How and many Florida. Of these, oh, let me look at the electoral I'm, college map. I'm done with Florida. You're, so, you're, so you're not going to the beach? Nope. I can go all. to another beach. We got a beautiful beach here in Georgia. You can go right down there, Savannah. Go to Tybee Island. <laughs> <laughs> now, what's the other one down there? Uh, is that Tybee Island? Yeah. Where, where Kennedy used to go. It's the pretty one. It's, it, it's pretty? <laughs> <laughs> so you say that's, Georgia beaches ain't pretty? Uh, no, that's on the Atlantic side. Is it? I don't like the Atlantic beach side. Oh, that's the only one you're going to get in Georgia. <laughs> Other than that, you probably talking about a river? <laughs> a lake? A lake, maybe? <laughs> I'm anyway. not sure which one you're talking about. Hey, but, uh, when we come back. Yep, we got more. We got more. We're going to talk about um, how many people voted for Kanye West. No, people voted for him? Yes, we're going to talk about how many people voted for Kanye West when we come back, all right? On Mornings with Michael and Jay Nash. Yay, yay! Wake up! <laughs> Question, who has an idea for a new app? Well, if you answer yes to that question, it's time for you to holler at our friends over at Appsketeers. Yo, it's Michael McFadden of Power 108.9 and the crew over at Appsketeers to take great care of you. Nick and the game provide you with the all-in-one app development experience. We're talking design, UI, UX, coding, and a whole bunch more. And if you have no clue what that means, it's time for you to holler at Appsketeers. Check out the website, appsketeers.com. Now, we're talking full confidentiality, no hassle, no obligation. If you don't believe me, just call them, 833-APP-IDEA. That's 833-APP-IDEA. As a matter of fact, you know what they do? They design, they build, and they launch. Tell me you heard it on Power 108.9, and don't forget to ask for the governor. What up, Nick? Yo, looking for a new house? Then it's time for you to holler at our guy, the mortgage guy, Alvin Jameson of Lone Depot. Yo, it's your boy Michael McFadden of Mornings with Michael and Friends. And I tell you what, Alvin Jameson and the crew, they really do it all. First time home buyers, refinances, investment properties, VA home loans too. Hit them up. It's very simple. Alvin Jameson. Y'all know Alvin like the chipmunk. Jameson like that fine whiskey. You can also hit him up by mobile phone, 404-587-9033. Once again, 404-587-9033. Alvin Jameson, Lone Depot. Tell him you heard it on Power 108.9. What up, Alvin? America. What is America's destiny? What is best for our nation, our people? What is just, true justice? We have to think about all these things together as a people. To contemplate our future, to live up to our dream, we must have vision. We as a people will revive our nation's commitment to faith, 
to what our Constitution calls the free exercise of religion, including, of course, prayer. Through prayer, faith can be restored. We as a people are called... Welcome back. Morning is with Michael and Jay Nash right here on Power 108.9. Shout out to my man, Love. What up, famo? Love said, hey, Jay. Someone said, hello. He said, y'all looking like twins. I know we do. We do look like twins. I'm, I'm, I missed yesterday, so I had to call you this morning and ask what you were wearing. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> you just heard Kanye West basically surrendering. No, it's not surrendering. <laughs> what is it called? <laughs> conceding. <laughs> conceding. My bad. You know what I'm talking about. He, first of all, he can't concede to anything. Why? He, he only had 50,000 votes. <laughs> Hold on. First of all, don't, don't, chump, don't chump him off like that. He took the presidential candidate. He took votes from Biden. Yeah, that's true. He he took votes. If 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 you voted for Kanye West, you essentially voted for Trump. You took you had taken votes from Biden to vote for Kanye. Fifty thousand people. I give you those numbers if you really want. Yes, to. I want to hear the numbers. Want to know? All right, fifty thousand people voted. Let me tell you the breakdown. Not only that, Kanye West just tweeted Kanye twenty twenty four. Maybe he may be ready by then. <laughs> He may be ready by then. Four more years, he may be ready. <laughs> All right, Arkansas, they had 3,900 votes for Shut Kanye. Shut up. Yeah. 3,900 people voted. 3,900 wow, in for Arkansas. Him. In Idaho, surprisingly, nice. there were over 2,000 people who voted for okay. Kanye. In Tennessee, 10 thousand one hundred and eighty eight thousand people <laughs> no, <I'm sorry>. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell number is that over ten thousand people voted for him are you and where in tennessee in tennessee over ten thousand people voted for trump i'm mean, trump yeah Walt pretty disney. much for uh-huh. kanye yeah in tennessee now who's gonna be the medici family and stand up and let me create more who, who what is kanye in nobody here? Louisiana, uh, four thousand over four thousand people voted for him, and in Kentucky, over six thousand people voted for him. He got the, they he wrote got his some name votes. In. Yep. In twelve states, uh, he was on the ballot. In twelve states. Hey, do your thing, Kanyezy. But like you said, I, I think every time you have that write-in ballot or you have that person uh, that takes away votes from another candidate, and regardless, especially this election, because this was an important election. Yeah, because in Georgia, uh, I can't forget the young. La- I, I can't remember the young lady's name who uh, she had like fifty thousand votes for president of the United States, which means those votes were taken away from a candidate, depending on which candidate you're looking at. Right now, we all know that there's two hundred seventy electoral colleges that you have to win in order to become the president of the United States of America. America. Right now, Joe Biden has two thirty eight and forty five has 213 so they these numbers are going to keep rolling in throughout the day places i'm not ever going to wyoming i'm good on y'all wyoming colorado no i'm going to colorado I was say, what? colorado joe got colorado he won colorado so I, I, i'll go up there uh i love have you ever been um I was gonna say skiing, but then I thought about it. Like, yes, I have been skiing. Yeah, you so tried to jump me off? No, I didn't. I was just because you said you weren't going back. I'm thinking like, how can you not go? It's so beautiful in Colorado. I went skiing in in North Carolina though. It, was it real skiing? Like, yeah, Ap- the Appalachian Mountains. I mean, wasn't I've never been there. I yeah, heard about it. it's, it's nice? sweet up there. Yeah, it's, it's it's really good. It's nice. Yeah, can you ski? Yes, I can. Like ski for real or ski. <laughs> I mean, what did you, you say? You ain't got the answers, man. You are- <laughs> <laughs> what did you can say? Can you ski? Yes, I, I, a little bit. I'm not a professional. Okay. I lived in Colorado for two years. Oh, okay. So, so I you did understand. get a chance. Yeah. I mean, I'm not, a, I'm not a pro, but they got Black Ski Weekend. Oh, nice. Yeah, yeah. they got Black Ski Weekend in Colorado yeah. that you don't want to go to. Now. Yeah, I about to say, I probably wouldn't. <laughs> I, probably, I just probably wouldn't go to the Black Ski Weekend. I, I don't think so. No. That's but nah, I mean. my, my ass was out there in some jeans trying to ski. Did you have the right boots on? Yeah, yeah, because they give you the boots. They give you the boots. Yeah, you got to step in. <laughs> <laughs> He's playing with us. Right, why? Um, We're all off today. It's but, Wednesday. We don't know who our president is. Well, or you missed the whole day. and Don't keep bringing it up. I'm, I said I was sorry. I but, can't keep apologizing. But nah, skiing is fun, though. Like, I, I have to say it. And it's very dangerous, too. And you got to. <laughs> hey, I couldn't get on the no. little. I couldn't get on the lift. You, you, why not? <laughs> <laughs> I was having difficulty because they had the one where you just step on it and you just ride up because yeah. it was like the baby, the baby mountain. Yeah. And uh, yeah, I was having dip- difficulties doing that. <laughs> I'm gonna need for you uh, to do what you got to do. You have, I'm glad that you're well rounded though. Like Thank you, you like very to much. do things. Do you hike? 
Yes. See, well, that's good. We can go hiking one day. Anyway, hey, we got a birthday today. Yes, thank you, Walter. <laughs> Wrap her ass up. <laughs> if you got a birthday today, happy birthday to you. <laughs> Birthdays are being brought to you by our very own Oliver Adams, a.k.a. Coach Oliver Adams, who always reminds us that true power comes from the inside of you. And once the power to live is ignited, change happens immediately. You grab a copy of his latest book. It's called Power to Live Through Obstacles. You can check it out on his website, power the number 2 livenet mm-hmm. JB murdered those birthdays, though. Yeah, and I think I only have one person to murder this time. Shout out to all Scorpio. Yay, Scorpio yay. season. All right, so for you, I have Diddy. Shout out to Puff Daddy, Puff a.k.a. Daddy Sean did, Combs. Wh- what year did he change it to Diddy? Was it like... 1974. No, he didn't. He changed it like five, ten, five, six years ago to okay. Diddy. All right, he went from Puff Daddy to Diddy, Sean Combs. He has all these aliases like me. I do. I have a lot of them, too. Yes, Judy! And and Hollywood J and all the rest of them. All right, he turns 51. He Shout actually out looks to Diddy. really good. Yeah, shout out to him. He looks really good, and I'm glad that he didn't come forward like Ice Cube <laughs> and decide that he wanted to jump on the bandwagon, all right? Um, Matthew McCartney. Conahay, I love him, an incredible actor. All right, he turns fifty-one as well. He's a great pitch man too, because he, he does is. those commercials for the what is that? A Buick? Be- is it a Buick he or does- Lincoln? Yes, well, the I Spanking love our Lincoln. I yeah. Love, well, we had fact checks on here because we be messing up. Yeah, because Tasha said Cumberland Island, by the way. Where's Cumberland? Island? It's in Georgia, down by Savannah. Anyway, and Tabby. Okay, but but no, nah, I like him. The, I almost bought a Lincoln because of Matthew McConaughey. Yeah, I, I I love Matthew McConaughey, but like I said, he's an incredible actor. Des Bryant, thirty two. I hope he's getting mental help. Is he okay? Did he get picked up just recently? Yep, he got picked oh, up. Really? Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, nice. I see? see? Look oh, at you. I'm on it. I am on it. Kathy Griffin. I did <laughs> not. Oh. <laughs> Kathy Griffin turns 60. I love her because she has no filter and she goes toe-to-toe with 45. Yeah, she did. She had the uh, the head, remember? Oh, man, yeah. she did. They tried to get her big time for that. She was almost went to jail for doing that. Um, Now, this guy here, get the gun ready. <laughs> Jeff Pro- Probus. <laughs> okay, he and turns, who is he? He turns 58. He's he, he's a host on the show. <laughs> Show's called Survivor. Yes, he's a dude from Survivor. <laughs> yeah, she jacked that up. <laughs> and she got one more, too. <laughs> uh, uh, Dev- Devin Hester, or Haster. What's his name? <laughs> Hester. <laughs> he's 38. What team do you play for? Play. He, he played for who? He played for us. The Atlanta Falcons. Okay. He also uh, I just became a, a Atlanta Falcons, a likable Atlanta Falcons fan within the last two years. I'm a diehard Colts fan. Yeah, shout out yep, to you. Yep, I'm That's a fine. diehard Colts fan. I'm from Naptown representing that uh, Colts Nation, that <laughs> Big Blue. And the last but not least, uh oh, Bethany Frankel. You know who she is? Oh, yeah, she uh, skinny T. Skinny, skinny T. <laughs> not skinny T. She has skinny <laughs> Not skinny T. <tea. laughs> But she, she has does skinny, skinny something. Everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Skinny everything from Real Housewives, man. I promise y'all. <laughs> Shout out to all Scorpio celebrating hey, their birthday. If you're celebrating a birthday today, happy birthday to you. Shout out to Scorpios. <laughs> Shout out to your birthday from you to us, Power, Michael and Jay, and of course, Coach Oliver Adams. Hey, when we come back. What we got? What we got? When we I don't back. know. You was you taking us out. It's you. <laughs> uh, when we come back, we're gonna tell you how many <laughs> electoral college votes that you have to um, have in order to be become, become the president. Great job. Okay. When we come back, <laughs> we're gonna talk about the electoral college bat and who could potentially be the president of the United States. Right here, on Michael and Jay Nash. Yay! <laughs> yay! <laughs> Radio is all about timing, ladies and gentlemen. Oh. On social media, Instagram at Power 108.9 and Facebook at Power 108.9. It, it, it's, it's, the, it's the exact same thing, it's at Power 108.9. Oh, oh okay. Power 108.9, a station for the people. Yo, looking for a new house? Then it's time for you to holler at our guy, the mortgage guy, Alvin Jameson of Loan Depot. Yo, it's your boy Michael McFadden of Mornings with Michael and Friends. And I tell you what, Alvin Jameson and the crew, they really do it all. First time home buyers, refinances, investment properties, VA home loans too. Hit them up. It's very simple. Alvin Jameson. 
Chipmunk.com. Y'all know Alvin like the Chipmunk. Jameson like that fine whiskey. You can also hit him up by mobile phone, 404-587-9033. Once again, 404-587-9033. Alvin Jameson, Lone Depot. Tell him you heard it on Power 108.9. What up, Alvin? Tired of all that baloney they force feed you on social media? Yes. Then get connected to Power 108.9, a station for the people. Keep, keep, keep it locked. The Power 108.9, the station for the people. Hey, 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 welcome back. Mornings with Michael and Jay Nash right here on Power 108.9. Today's show is being brought to you by our friends over at Credit Building Professionals. What up, Credit Craig? You got it. Jay Nash in the building with us today. <laughs> <laughs> hey, yesterday, Hollywood liberals were very nervous. About what? As the, uh, about the election. There was a picture of Cardi. Cardi B. Yeah. Smoking three cigarettes at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> she's, man, she didn't pull a cigarette out in about five minutes. I didn't know she seconds. smoked. She just started smoking. Did she? Yeah, she she actually didn't even drink. I don't know if she, if she drinks now, but she just started smoking cigarettes. You'll be surprised at some of your fil- uh, favorite celebs who smoke cigarettes. I know, right? Yeah. I saw that. You know you know who got me? Who? I was hosting an event. Well, I was on, I, I was at an, I was, I was part of an event up in uh, Orangeburg, South Carolina with mm-hmm. my man, Dr. Lee. Mm-hmm. Jasmine Guy was the host of the event. And when I came out she the look like it now. When I came out the door, we uh, where our hotel was, when I came out the door, she was I was like, no, yeah. no Jasmine. No judgmental zone. No, no, not at all. But, but it does, just shocked she, me. She she she's aged. Yeah. She's actually aged a lot. I mean, she I, I just I saw her maybe what about five years ago on something, and then she she's doing like some acting boot camp, and I saw on social media. Super, you, super nice woman. Very nice, very very nice. But I was like, damn, how old is she now? Hey, that's some cigarettes though. Them new ports will get you. <laughs> Salem like one hundreds. <laughs> <laughs> The pet them Jones down. I, now, Why do people pat the cigarette? Because you you got to get the tobacco in there good. They make the tobacco tight. But they pat it for a long time. Hey, that's what we do. So that's how you. So they call that uh, freaking a uh, black and mild. But they do like this. Oh, I, I have no clue about that. <laughs> now I smoked for fifteen years, believe it or not. You did. Yeah, I started smoking when I was fifteen years old. When did you stop? Thirty. Oh, you had to do is just do the math. I mean, just I didn't it. know that you. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know that you started like you counted at fifteen. So yeah. You, so you was a chain smoker at fifteen. I wasn't a chain smoker. Like I couldn't. <laughs> I, I wouldn't. I wouldn't light one to, with the other. We one got a both sign one out. contract. What the hell? <laughs> I wouldn't do that. But okay. oh yeah, I was smoke. I was. I was the typical smoker. After I ate, I had to smoke a cigarette. What does it do after you eat? Why do people smoke? I have after they no eat? clue. What but, did it do for you? You I don't just know. said you smoked I was for just following years. the lead. That's all. So you are a follower? But but what happens with the, our cigarette smokers? T- nicotine is a, is addictive. I heard. And that's why you get caught on it. So, mm-hmm. But yeah, I, I cold turkey that junk. After just 15 cold years, yeah. 15 years cold turkey. Especially when them damn cigarettes start being like $4 a pack. They like almost $6 a pack. Exactly. Right now. Newports so. are very expensive. <laughs> people looking there like, people will really be buying that type of money. Why is we talk about cigarettes? And we got know, a damn we were talking about Cardi B, the fact that she was, uh, she had the three cigarettes in her mouth. Anyway, so you need 270. Just two, 270. Okay, 270. Okay. <laughs> I, 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 me and you know I'm going to correct you every time. Yeah, because I, I have a big issue with the and, okay? 270 okay. electoral votes, all right? 270. <laughs> <laughs> do you think we need to, do you think we just need to go popular vote? No. The heck with the electoral college? Uh, Yeah, you know I me. Mean? You know what? That's a great question. I think so because we don't even know who these electoral colleges are. Are, they, are these people randomly selected? They probably are. I wonder how are they because there's a lot of them in like, 21 of them in Pennsylvania by itself. And and the sad part is I'm sure in school when we were growing up they told us about it but we just didn't pay attention to it. I don't think or didn't it didn't it didn't phase us because we weren't at a voting age at the time and yeah, just yeah. let it bypass us. And but I only I, think it's taught in college. But I think I think it's time we need to reevaluate this whole electoral college thing. I really uh, want to know about um, how they're selected. 
Hey, I got a, a special birthday shout out too. Yes, we do. I just added to the list. Yeah. Shout out to uh, Coach Oliver Adams' son, James. Happy birthday. James Adams is celebrating a birthday today. Shout out to James. That's also the name of a former president, by the way, too. No, it's John Adams, right? Boy. Damn, I messed that up. It's okay, well, you, but you're real smart. But James, okay, thank you. No gun. But shout out to James Adams, man. Happy birthday to you. Hey. I had to what look happened? up the I had to look up the uh, the electoral college and exactly what that means. What does it mean? Okay, so you want me to bring it up for you? Yes, ma'am. All right, so this is how it's uh, determined. Okay, and of course this is this is according to Wikipedia. <laughs> it says the uh, the number of electorals. Okay, so this is how Article Two, Section One, Clause Two of the Constitution. Mm -hmm. Okay, nice. It empowers each state legislator to determine the manner by which the state's electors are chosen. You got that? Yes, ma'am. The number of electors are in each state, and it's equal to the sum of the state's membership in the Senate and the House of Representatives. Okay. So that's how it's broken down. All right? It also says that um, the votes uh, of the public is determined by the electorals. So, yeah, I, I definitely think we need to get rid of that. Okay. Because things have changed since then, especially when it involves African Americans and Latinos. Things have changed. I just feel like they need to rewrite a whole lot of that stuff. Mm -hmm. Because uh, uh, the Constitution wasn't written. It, it right. didn't really have anything to do with African Americans. It did not. At all. So, we are in a new day, a new time, a new century. This is the time where things need to change because, trust me, I, I, I bet you, I bet you 50 cents. Let go. <laughs> now, I bet that there are going to be a lot more African Americans and a lot more uh, Latinos who are going to be running for office going forward now. And, and speaking of that, uh, last night, uh, who is it? AOC, Alexandria, how you say her middle name? I'm not sure. Azar Cortez, her, uh, Rashida, Ayanna Presley, all of them, they won their races yep, yep. by a landslide. Yep. And, and, and like you said, they're getting another what is it two years I think it is that they're going to be able to serve but like you said the Senate and the House is, is is flipping to a point not just from blue to red or red to blue but the makeup of the the, the people that are coming into office they're coming in young yep. they're fresh yep. they got these new ideas like it's it's hopefully we'll be able to see the change I got another good I got another good 52 years left on this earth I think I live to 102. Okay. As long as nobody ain't taking care of me. Like, as long as I ain't, you know. Unless. Yeah. <laughs> yeah Boo-booing on myself, you should say. Oh. But I, I think I have. And I, it's, it's just good to see the change in the in the look of what Congress looks like uh, moving forward. I'm looking forward to it. Um, you know, right now, like I said, the House, uh, Dem, the Dems, mm -hmm. we run the House right now. The Democrats right now, 46 to uh, 47 with the Republicans in the Senate. So, we're, we're in the process of making some changes. I think a lot of people's voices are going to be heard going forward. So that divide that you see in America right now because of 45, Biden is, to me, for the people. Um, he It's a we thing for him instead of an I thing right. with Trump. And that's a, that's really important because there's, there's, there's no I in team. Hey, when we come back, we got that 60 second in the buzz, right? You sure? We got it. <laughs> It's mornings with Michael and Jay Nash. Are you sure? Question. Who has an idea for a new app? Well, if you answer yes to that question, it's time for you to holler at our friends over at Appsketeers. Yo, it's Michael McFadden of Power 108.9 and the crew over at Appsketeers to take great care of you. Nick and the gang provide you with the all-in-one app development experience. We're talking design, UI, UX, coding, and a whole bunch more. And if you have no clue what that means, it's time for you to holler at Appsketeers. Check out the website, appsketeers.com. Now, we're talking full confidentiality, no hassle, no obligation. If you don't believe me, just call them, 833-APP-IDEA. That's 833-APP-IDEA. As a matter of fact, you know what they do? They design, they build, and they launch. Tell me you heard it on Power 108.9, and don't forget to ask for the governor. What up, Nick? Keep up with Power 108.9 on social media. How can I find you? Instagram at Power 108.9. And Facebook at Power 108.9. It, it, it's, it's, the, it's the exact same thing. It's at Power 108.9.
Rich the Kid, he rejected Trump. Yeah, campaign offer. So Lil Pump popped up at <laughs> Trump rally on Monday night, and Rich the Kid says that they actually sent him a text message. He showed it on his Insta story yesterday, <laughs> revealing that the campaign offered to fly him out, but he said, No, what? Elf. The Trump administration. I ain't no sellout. He later shared the screenshot, and he really did. I saw the screenshot of him saying that, hey, we're going to offer you to fly you on a private jet. We're going to have a hotel accommodations in D.C. at the Trump. And we also going to allow you to meet several billionaires. Nice. Is the actual screenshot that the Trump campaign sent to rapper Rich the Kid. And he said, y'all should have just called Waka Flocka Flame or Ice Cube. <laughs> <laughs> What's going on in the sport? Hey, we got a busy weekend in the NFL. Yesterday I mentioned that. Possibly 16 teams could be in the playoffs. Right now, they're 14. But the season starts Thursday with Green Bay and San Francisco. Also, our Atlanta Falcons are taking on the Denver Broncos. Seattle's at Buffalo. Chicago's at Tennessee. Baltimore's at Indy. Nice. Carolina and Kansas City. Detroit and Minnesota. New York and the Washington football team. So we got a lot of great games going on this weekend. And shout out to our, our Atlanta United. Yeah, we're going to probably make the playoffs. All right. There you have it. Of course, your 60 seconds and the buzz is your latest on your entertainment and sports news. Brought to you by, of course, Mornings with Michael and Jay Nash. Look at you. She's so good. Hey, hey, Tammy. Shout out to Tammy. Tammy says that she is running for the 2022 National Treasurer position for the women's council of realtors nice. she needs their vote so shout out to you tammy congratulations to you and shout out to fidella fidella said exactly the electoral college they already know who the hell they gonna be voting for they do they do what, what time did you go to bed last night <laughs> early did you yeah i'm not i wasn't because last time i went to bed early i woke up in 2016 trump won <laughs> <laughs> So this time I was like, okay, maybe if I go to bed, wake up, bite the wind. <laughs> so so this morning, I woke up about 5.20 this morning, mm -hmm. and I rolled over to check my phone. And as I was looking at my phone, like my eyes couldn't adjust. Like I couldn't see. Why? I don't know. Did you have your glasses on? No, nah, I, I, I rolled over and grabbed my glasses, but I just couldn't get them adjusted enough. And I thought it said that Joe had won, but it I, I, I couldn't see it. Oh, man. But I anyway. Wish. Uh, right now, it's, it's still pretty close. I'm, we're keeping um, we're keeping in tabs on you know what's happening right now as the votes are coming in. So far, um, right now, updated on CNN.com at 840, which is 848, uh, 224 for electoral map, 213 okay. for 45. So it's close, but again, that number can change any time because there's over a million votes that are uncounted right here in Georgia. Hey, and we're hearing word that some of these damn... Um Mail-in ballots might not be counted. Yeah, and that's unfair. That is really... They're going to do a whole lot of things right now to just stop what's happening. But do you know that there are some elections and, um, like, you have, to, you have to vote for the insurance person. The person oh, who... Yeah. A lot of people don't know, like, there are... It's, it's so important to just vote in general. I told, I told you. I think the next election, okay. we got to put their faces on the ballots. Their yeah. Facebook profile picture. It got to be on the ballot. Well, we could barely get the ballot cast. Because <laughs> <laughs> wouldn't it make it easier if you saw who you, w you were voting for? No. Nah. Why? I mean, if, if they could barely get us to put to cast our ballot properly, I can't even fathom them putting a face on each person's name. Although they should. Although they should. There was a real uh, question on... Um, on the ballot that talked about uh would you like what was it the the taxes yes the taxes for, for taxes, non non-profit so one of them one of the uh and i and i think it passed where if so let's say uh who is it Human the humanity the ha habitat for humanity damn help me out y'all um, well hell we ain't know what you was talking about <laughs> 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 All you had to do is say that the people that help people build houses. <laughs> or you can <laughs> Habitat for Humanity. So um organizations that have a non profit like that, mm -hmm. they don't have to pay taxes on that real estate while they have it. 
Oh, nice. And that's what the vote was for. So to waive that 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 tax for them during the time that they have that that they own that property, which I definitely voted yes for that. Yes, yeah, so yeah. did I. Um, but again, a lot of people didn't know what that meant. A lot of people don't know a lot of the questions. Marijuana legalization was on there. Oh, for Georgia? Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. And for other in other countries, in other cities, states too, it was on there. Um, they had stuff like that that was on there. Arizona uh, proposition. 207, they had them on there, and Montana was on there for them. South Dakota, Mississippi, it was even on there. Yeah, shout out to uh, Chocolate Tangerine, which you can hear right here on Power 108.9 on Sundays at 11. She had been talking all month, past couple of months, about those bills coming out of the other country, I mean, other states mm-hmm. that pertain to marijuana. Yeah. And shout out to Mia, because Mia just mentioned, you got to do your research early. You have to. Yep. If, if you, you really want to wanna dig in and find out who these candidates are, yeah, you got to begin doing just your research. Just start digging, because, you know, you'd be surprised that although some people may have vote Democrat for the president because they don't like Trump, a lot of people still may be Republican and still have Republican views. Mm-hmm. So some of those Republican views still matters to some people it's so crazy too because when you when you go in they ask you are you a republican yeah for or the, a Democrat? Yeah. and it's like well what if my views for this particular person that's for the that's for the um to get your candidate on the ballot, ballot. Mm-hmm. that's when they start doing it that way where they separate the two parties but then once you get to the general election it's it's open season for whoever the hell you want to vote for so in mississippi they have a racial a racial reckoning that was on their ballot it talked about it's called uh, ballot measure three will ask voters to weigh in on a new state flag after the state legislator this uh this summer retired it's 1894 flag featuring the confederate flag that was on theirs um in rhode island they had one uh would change which would change part of the state official's name to exclude Mm -hmm. portions of ties of slavery um they had the abortion one on colorado criminal justice that was in kentucky yeah so um that's what i'm saying a lot of people don't know they had the ride share and more in statehood that was in california oh shout out oh is that about the 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 um Insurance, making them employees because there was a, a lot of beef about the ride sharing companies not providing insurance to, yeah. to them or whatever. But anyway, no, it, uh, Proposition 22 <laughs> oh, would allow ride share. Yeah, no, similar. Was that close? Yeah, 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 absolutely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Insurance and all. But it also will allow the ride share and delivery apps like Uber and Lyft to classify their drivers as independent contractors. Okay, right, right. With some benefit concessions. Got you. Okay. Because yeah, because as an independent uh uh contractor, mm-hmm. you don't have to provide them with benefits. benefits. Yeah. Because if that was the case, then the ride sharing companies, they would have to spend a whole bunch of money to to be able to provide them with benefits. Yeah, and also one more. Go. In you, Florida. You own it, amendment, amendment two she in back. Florida. I'm back. I'm woke. <laughs> 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 amendment two in Florida would gradually raise the minimum wage of fifteen dollars an hour. This is the state that you said you don't want to go to. Um minimum wage from fifteen hour it would raise the current minimum wage to eight dollars and fifty six per hour in Florida to $10 in 2021. The minimum wage will uh, would increase by $1 per hour each year until it reaches $15 by Oh, okay. They're putting them on a, on yeah, a tier. Yeah, they're putting them on a tier to keep going up. So, not here in Georgia, but in other places, like your family may live in other states. These things are really important. Yeah. And a lot of people had no idea what those questions were on the ballot. So it was like, okay, what? Like, what were you saying? <laughs> what was happening? But so, can we do this, though? I, I, I propose something else to do on those ballots. What? Can we simplify the damn can question, we just, though? Can we? Because qu- <laughs> I had to read that one question about the taxes twice. Like, what? They said, what? I had, you know how you have to break it down? <laughs> right. I was sitting here on my head like... He said, "Cause I want to make sure that I was voting for it correctly." I had to read that shit like, like three times. The, so, can you imagine somebody who has issues, people who with mental illness, or people who have um, some kind of cognitive issues that could not retain or understand that question? Because they put it in the format of it being in a constitution. They did it on purpose. Yes, they put it in that order. The and or blah blah blah. Like I'm like, dude, just, just simplify say, it a little bit. Man, but go back to what Mia said. Do your research. However, yeah. when you get in there and you're reading it, it's it's kind of complicated. It's, Would you agree, be, Walter? It could be Thank really you. complicated. Can can Biden, if you win, can you just make this <laughs> real easy for people? I had who a very random. Don't have a vernacular of well, okay. I had a very random uh, thing from yesterday. I was uh, scrolling on TikTok yesterday. You you got TikTok. I just look at the TikToks. Okay. 
Well, I saw that damn video with the uh, with the Migos when they was about to fight. Oh boy! Oh, Joe Button. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell was that about? Cause they didn't like Joe Budden coming at them like that. Some people are honest. Take off said, "What? Take off I said, I was, "I was on bad and bougie." Or something. He was saying he was <laughs> mumbling. Like, they take you off bad and bougie, said, <laughs> and it wasn't. Take off got mad. Actually, take off is the one. If you really listen to take off, he is the lyricist of them. No, I totally agree. He's he's my favorite. That, he's my favorite. If you listen Migo. to him out of the Migos group, he is the one that has to me. I'm like, yo, dude, snap. Yeah, like he is the lyricist I, out of all. I like his, he's the the ad lib too. Okay, I like his I like his verse on uh, Gucci Mane. Gucci Mane record. What song is that? Which one is with Take Off and Gucci? Oh, Take Off. Oh, so, so you do know about the young folks? Yeah, Take Off. Make it seem like you don't know about these young folks. Hey, but no, he had, he had. They left had off Bad and Bougie. I ain't left off Bad and Bougie. You think I'm left off Bad and Bougie? Say again. You say I'm left off Bad and Bougie. What you say? You say I'm left off Bad and Bougie. Yeah. Do it look like I'm left off Bad and Bougie? What you say? Do it look like <laughs> I'm left off Bad and Bougie? Nah. Okay, I mean, that's one thing I like about it. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, look like I'm left off. Bad so what? What, what, what was the whole way thing? Up, way up. Uh, way up is the song that you're talking about with Gucci and Takeoff. I don't think that's the one. That's not it. I get the bag. Yeah, I get the bag. Yeah, oh, thank you. I thank get you. the bag and flip yeah. it. Yeah, okay. and then flip it. I get the bag and flip it. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. Okay. So, but but please explain what happened. Like I'm, I, I don't know what happened. So Joe Budden was interviewing them at was it the BET Hip Hop Awards? Okay. Like, I don't know if it was that the BET Hip Hop Awards. Okay, it was. He was. This has been a minute ago, by the way. My so bad. You're gonna have to. I'm having. You know, my producer in here is gonna have to help me out. And he was interviewing them. This is when they were really on their come up. Okay. They, they had been nominated for a few awards, and and Joe Budden, who actually. She's a, a, a podcaster, but a rapper as well. Like, the dude is no filter. Was like, so you were left off bad and bougie? Like, who left off bad and bougie? <laughs> okay. Like, so it, it became an argument because Joe Budden is one of those guys who's unfiltered. He He's similar to us. Okay. Who really don't give a damn and probably would say it how we say it. Okay. And they were offended. Because he had got up and walked off or something yeah, he, and he, dropped his microphone. He dropped, yes. The, he, he got They got really offended with him on that. He there was, you go. He was, Joe Budden was actually irritated with his co-host uh yeah. academics academics because academics was, he's a nerd okay academics is a nerd no he's, uh, he's a, a messy he's a, nerd uh, yeah I'm, he's the yeah. one who causes a lot of problems and a lot of beef in the industry okay. so he was the one that was saying yeah it seemed as if you were left off bad and bougie so of course takeoff yeah. had to correct him i got joe you. button was annoyed Period. Yeah, period. Okay. You know, that's why he don't, no longer works with DJ Academics. Oh, okay. But then they had got up and all their clothes was tight. And they had to. <laughs> <laughs> they had some. Like, Representing North Georgia. They had some damn, uh, the, the hard bottom <laughs> shoes on. <laughs> <laughs> they from the north side. Hey, hey, we appreciate y'all for hanging out with us today. Welcome back. This is mine. I know I want to show it. Go oh. ahead. Welcome back. Go ahead. Tomorrow is uh what's tomorrow? Thursday. Thursday. I think. Let me check the camera. I gotta say thank you to my man Credit Craig over there, Credit Building Professional. Credit what Craig. up, Credit Craig? Hey, Credit Craig. <laughs> okay, we all were off. <laughs> all right, you hey, guys. Hey, tonight. Hold on, tonight is going down, 7 o'clock, Eastern Standard Time, 20 years and counting with Michael and Latasha. And then right after that at 8 o'clock, check out our Rhonda's Room. And you can also check out the website, power1089.com. Yep, and uh, make sure you check us out. We're all over your streaming services, Spotify, Apple, TuneIn Radio, iHeartRadio. You don't necessarily have to have, you don't have to have the app to actually go to those. So if you want to, please check us out because we want you to. Make sure you hit the subscribe button. And then also make sure you check out uh, Frames Galore, which yes. is... It's my um, PPE line because here's the thing. Winter's coming if you have watched one of my favorite shows, okay? Winter's coming. And I want you to make sure you uh, you, uh, you take care of you and your family. All right, I got some face masks. They're not lying. Actually, the great thing about these are they're uh, – <laughs> he's looking at me like copper ion infused. But the great thing about them is uh, I got the adjustable ear loops. You know how some oh, masks – Oh, yeah, yeah. Some masks is just hard to put on. So these come with adjustable ear loops because I have little ears. Okay. And some people do. So make sure you check out framesgalore.store. Hit me up and uh make sure you check us out tomorrow yay yay mornings with michael j nash right here on power 108.9 peace